Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh and today I come up with a new project and this project is based upon the micro bit. So name of the project is using the soil moisture sensor with the micro bit and detecting the soil moisture present inside the soil. So this project will basically work whenever the soil moisture is very less the buzzer will turn on and whenever the soil moisture reaches to some certain point then buzzer will stop. So I would like to show you the output of the project. Let's see how this code works. So now I'll just click on start simulation. So you can see the data of the soil moisture sensor on the display matrix of the micro bit. Now this data is very less that is one one. That means here you can see on the soil moisture that soil moisture is very less. That's why the buzzer is turned on. Now if I increase the soil moisture, the buzzer will turn off automatically. Now you can consider there is a decent amount of soil moisture inside the soil. So that's why the buzzer is stopped. Now let's build this project from the scratch. Okay. So now I have directly created the new project. So what I'll do, I'll just give the name to the project. Microbit project one. We need microbit. So let's add the microbit. Yeah. Also we need soil moisture sensor. So let's add the soil moisture sensor here. And then we need one buzzer. So now we have added everything what we need for what we need to build the project. Okay. So now I'll connect the soil moisture sensor first to the micro bit and then I will display the data of the soil moisture sensor on to the display matrix of the micro bit. Okay. So let's do the connection. So in order to connect the sensors to the micro bit, you can use the crocodile pins here. So I'll select here crocodile pins or you can say the alligator clips. The soil moisture sensor has VCC ground and signal pin. So VCC mean plus 5 or plus 3 volt. This is the ground pin and this is the signal pin. So I'll connect this VCC to the 3 volt and I will change the color to red because it's a positive supply. Okay. Now I have connected the VCC. Let's connect the ground part. So as this is the ground wire, we need to change the color to black. Okay, so we have done the connection for black. So we have done the connection for VCC and the ground. Let's connect the signal pin. So now I will connect the signal pin of the soil moisture sensor to the P1 pin of the micro bit. So let's connect it. So I have done the connection for signal pin and let's change the color to yellow. Okay, so we have done the connection for soil moisture sensor and the micro bit. It's very simple connection. Now we need to do the coding in order to see the data of the soil moisture sensor onto the micro bit. So I'll just click on code and here I'll just delete all the stuff. As we know that soil moisture sensor giving us the data in analog form. So we can read those data. So that's why this soil moisture sensor becomes the input device for the micro bit. So I'll just click on input and I'll just take the command called read analog pin P1. And now I'll go to the output because I wanted to show the data onto the display matrix. And this LED matrix is basically the output device. And I'll just take this show number and put it inside the forward block and just take this command and put it here. Now you can see when uh, so whenever I click on the start simulation, this code will run forever and you will see the data onto the LED matrix of the micro bit. So let's click on start simulation. And now you can see the data on the micro bit. Now, if we wanted to change the value of the moisture sensors data, then just click on the moisture sensor. And then so here you can see on the left hand side, the value of the moisture sensor is very less. Now, if you move this pointer towards the right, the moisture sensor value will increase. Now you can see the value is 62. It's 45, 4, 5, 7. The value is increasing now. 61, 6, 1, 2. I can see the value is increasing now. This is how you can easily able to print the value of the soil moisture sensor onto the LED matrix of the microbe. So this is the condition that means you can consider there is no moisture or very less moisture in the soil. And this is the medium condition you can consider. That's the less amount of moisture is there and now so this is the maximum condition that means there is more amount of moisture present in the soil now just get the data 
and read those values what are the values you are getting and depending upon these values we will try to build the automation that means whenever the moisture is very less what we will do we will just turn on the buzzer so that we will get to know that there is very less amount of moisture present in the soil okay now so how to do the programming for the same let's start the programming for the same now i'll just go to the variable and i'll create one variable called soil moisture and click on enter now i've created the variable and i'll take this variable and i'll just take one more command which is read analog so i've created the variable called soil moisture and we are reading the value coming from the pin p0 and storing inside the variable called soil moisture okay now instead of using this now we can use our variable as well like this directly here and now in order to use so now we are going to use the conditional statement so for that we need to go to the control section here you will find so here i am using if then else conditional statement if the value of the soil moisture sensor is greater than 60 that means there is a decent amount of moisture is present then we will just turn off the buzzer and if the value of the soil moisture sensor is less than 60 that means there is very less amount of moisture present in the soil then we will turn on the buzzer let's see how i can do that just take this here and here just use the greater than sign and go to the variable add your variable here if soil moisture sensor is greater than 60 then what i'll do now here we need to turn on the we need to turn off the buzzer but before that we need to connect the buzzer to the micro bit now let's see how we are going to connect the buzzer to the micro bit now here i'm going to use the normal wire only okay now i'll connect the positive pin of the buzzer to the pin p2 of the micro bit okay so just change its color to red because it's a positive terminal of the buzzer now connect the ground pin of the buzzer to the ground pin of the micro bit it's very simple so ground pin can be common okay let's change its color to black now you can see that buzzer is connected to the pin number two of the micro bit now just go to the code and go to the output section because buzzer is the output and just search for the digital write pin so here you can see digital write pin which is pin number two should low if the moisture is more then we don't turn on the buzzer if the moisture is very low then we will turn on the buzzer So this is very simple line of code that you need to add. So let's do the simulation of the project and let's see whether this project is working or not. So as you can see on the screen, the moisture is very less. So that's why buzzer start. Now I'll slowly increase the moisture and you can see the buzzer will stop. Now you can see the buzzer is stopped. So this is how you can easily able to interface the soil moisture sensor with the micro bit. I hope you found this project useful for you. Then do subscribe the channel, like the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.